Top of the AM, everybody, man. All praise to the Most High, man. Peace and blessings. Scrap, stay woke. Close your eyes as a boy. Open your eyes as a man. Keep your mind on your money. And always keep a swivel head, man. I'm back at your service once again, man. Make a quick short video, man. Just on um, just everything, man. It's a little bit of everything, man. Um, I just want to just talk to a lot of your brothers, man. Um. I just want to tell you y'all great, man, first and foremost, man. Each and every one of you brothers are great, man. Let's get that out the way, man. Y'all great. Y'all brothers are amazing. And y'all brothers are very, very, extremely resourceful. And keep up the good work, man, if nobody told y'all. You guys, brother, you brothers. Today, I just want to elaborate on... Um, How a lot of us men, how we was raised, and a lot of us, the way we was raised, it affects us like now, and um. There are a lot of things that trigger trigger things off in our brains that we couldn't really do. Excuse me. There's a lot of things that trigger that's in our brains that's that was seeds planted in our brains that triggers us that trigger us off. And um, it's, it's tough, man. And every time I speak to each and every one of y'all brothers, I, I include myself. I'm not excluded from 95% of the stories I tell you I'm not excluded from. I'm included. So these are all experience, experiences that I've encountered. For example, again, like I tell y'all, most of us grew up in single parent homes with just our mom. And most of the time, as a young black boy, we were always <clears throat> yelled at. Yelled at by our moms for every little thing. We yelled at, we were screamed at, we were beaten, we were mistreated, we were, um, we felt abandoned, and this is a lot of brothers who could relate to the things that I'm saying. Some brothers might not want to open up, but a high percentage of young black men deal with this as, as a youth. We grew up getting yelled at. We grew up getting beat. We grew up getting hit with brooms, beat with extension cords, beat with belts, um, cursed out. These are all things that we dealt with at a young age. So, as I grew up, and I, and a lot of my friends, as they grew up, a lot of them were incarcerated due to everything that was going on. 
So as a young boy, I'm telling you, as a young boy from my experience, and a lot of a lot of young men can relate to this. When you're young and you just being you just being beat, burned, badgered, abandoned, tore down as a youth. Them things make you violent because when you're, it's things that your mother say to you that sticks in your head. It's things that your mother say to you that will make you angry. And what a lot of young black men have done is that they go on the streets and that same anger that they have, that their mother beat them down with, they go outside and do crimes. Either they assault someone, either they rob someone, either they murder someone. These are all things that your mother build in your mind and plant seeds in your head that force you to do as a youth. When you're young, your brain is like a sponge. And these are seeds that that she plants in your head over and over and over and over. And when you get a certain age, all of the all of this indoctrination, it turns into anger, it turns into stress, it turns into hatred. You understand all the abandonment, it turns into hatred, it turns into stress. It turns into just darkness. And this is why a lot of young black men go to jail and do crimes because of the things their mother said, all the beatings that they, all the beatings and all the disciplinary actions that their mother's done to them. You understand there's no fathers around because when you're a young man and your father discipline you, your father can understand you more because he's a man. He's been your age before. But most of the time, your mother have a lot of hatred towards your dad because he left her with you. You might look like your dad. You understand? So it's things that trigger off in her brain that your dad have done and she take it out on you. So these are all things that just trigger off the young black brothers and this is why a lot of black brothers resort into violence, resort into crimes resort into drug dealing, resort into murder, resort into anything you can name, anything that they could do due to these, these seeds that their mother planted in their brain because when your dad discipline you your dad know what to do he know what and what not to do, he know what what can save you These are the power that dads have And when a man get a certain age These are these are seeds that their moms Planted into their head So when they get into a relationship Nine out of ten times A, guy, a kid in my community In the black community Nine out of ten times A kid won't hit their mother But as a kid get older And he start dealing with females as he's dealing with females, the female that he's dealing with might have said something that his mother said to him as a young boy, and he remember that, and he triggers off and hit her, or he triggers off and murder her, or he triggers off and stab her. These are things that's not right, but I'm explaining to you why do these things happen. Nothing happened for nothing. All the years and the decades, your mother to beat you down, your mother tore you down, and your mother screamed at you, yelled at you, and beat you. You never was able to hit your mother because most guys will never do that. But then, as you get older and you start to get in, in a relationship and you deal with a female, things she said will trigger you off. And now, this is where the abuse come at. Now, this is where the verbal abuse come. This is where the physical abuse come. Because of all the things that your mother indoctrinated you to, indoctrinated in your mind 
and orchestrated you to be because there was no dads around. So I just want y'all brothers just, uh, just take it easy, man, and you might have to not just be in a relationship. You might have to just be alone or just date because we have we have to reteach ourselves. We have to filter out all the bad seeds that was planted in our brain. And it's gonna take a while, but once you get it done, it's beautiful. We all work in progress. We all a work in progress, including myself. And I just want you guys just to <clears throat> just work on you, man, as far as trying to reteach yourself, man. Because the pain we go through, a female will never, ever understand what a brother go through, ever, in a million years. And I just want to tell you guys how great you guys are, how resourceful you guys are. And the thing about us brothers is that we always make it, no matter what we go through. All the pain that we go through, everything that we go through, we always make it to the top. So I just want you brothers, man, just to keep being great, man, keep being amazing. And if nobody told y'all amazing, I'm telling you guys, y'all amazing, man. But we have to pluck them seeds out our brains, man, and plant new seeds, man, to make us better. Because all this is orchestrated due to these the, those people. It was all orchestrated for us to not be with our kids, man. It's orchestrated for us to be in in um incarcerated, for us to be in graves. These these are all things that was indoctrinated from us when we was young for us to not make it or have a lot a lot of psych psychological problems, physically, mentally and spiritually. So the all this that you're going through it wasn't by mistake. All the things you're going through, if you want to see a therapist, if you was in jail, all this was staged. All this was premeditated So you brothers won't make it But I'm just putting the brothers On Who didn't make mistakes So they could follow the righteous path Man It's not easy It's hard for the colored people But We're the chosen ones And we're On the top of the food chain When it comes to thinking all around the globe. So I just want y'all to be great. Each and every one of you guys are amazing. And I love you guys, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Share the video. And a million salutes, man. All praise to the Most High. Without the Most High, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. And without the Most High, y'all wouldn't be able to watch it, man. I love you guys. Keep being great. All praise to the Most High. A million salutes. I love you guys.